All right, so this is a five movement dumbbell series. The exact prescription of reps, rest, work to rest ratios will be in your program. I'll be demonstrating a couple of the exercises while coaching so I can help you work yourself through the movement. So the first one we're gonna start off with is a row to a crab reach. So you're only gonna need one dumbbell. Four point position, we're gonna take the dumbbell, we're gonna elevate off the floor. I'm going to kick my left foot through and I'm up and I'm gonna press my glutes up into the ceiling. As high as I can, lower, take that left foot and slip it back under, that's one rep. Again, I'm gonna row and press. Other side, I'm gonna row, get my hips under my body, press nice and tall. Make sure your hand is away from your body so that you feel this in your lat, okay? Back down. Again, this should be the tempo. Under, heels are rooted, knees are apart, press and reach. That's the crab, row and reach. Next, we have a split hinge and row. These are all combo moves. So I'm gonna get into a kickstand position. That's about half a lunge. Okay, I'm gonna row, stand up, kickstand, toe down, it means you should feel it in your left uh, glute, row, stand up, row, stand up, other side. So get into that hip, make sure you're not turning your hip, you should feel this in your right hip from a front position, this is what it looks like, step through, okay, so bottom position, one row, step through, one row, step through. So the weight transfers from your glute to your upper back, back to your glute. Third exercise, we're going to now make that kickstand a full reverse lunge. So I'm going to reverse lunge almost till my back knee touches the floor. I'm going to curl twice, stand up, press. Weights go down by the side. Aggressively attack the floor with that back toe, drop the knee close. Two hammer curls, straight posture, stand up, press. Again, key notes here. Find your lowest stable position. Drive your front leg into the floor like you're trying to make a footprint in mud. Two curls. Dumbbell should touch the top as I bring that hip forward. One big press without extending your back, crunch your abs. Fourth exercise, hang clean and press. So we start with actually a back swing of the weight. Hang clean, press. Back swing of the weight, so like a typical dumbbell swing. Press, this is gonna be a little faster. You can add in a second dip here and up. Again, hips back, you can add that se second dip, but just make sure that the hips travel down, okay, and here they're traveling back, down, up. Last move, we have a hip bridge. This is brand new. We've used something like this before, so look, we're gonna do one hip bridge. Set the hips, press, then look, this is the most important part. You can actually crunch a little bit. Come back down. So from the side, hips up first. Press the weight, crunch, come back down. You can do one more crunch, okay? So full, hip bridge, press, lower the hips, crunch and roll, tuck your chin in, come back down, again. Hips, this is the sequence I want you to do. Press, drop the hips back down, crunch and hold, look right down the seam of your pants. All right, that's a dumbbell series.